Hey everybody, Rob here. We're gonna give some quick tips and kind of, we were asked, what do you have, what do you do, what do you prepare for duck season? Well, teal season is this weekend, so uh, first thing we'd always tell you to do is go dove hunting, get your gun going, get everything working, and then uh, I'm gonna show you some stuff that we grab. So mainly, everybody knows you grab your decoys, you gotta have decoys, you know, the boat's ready, the dog's out, whatever, you got that part under control. Um, Hip boots, waders, that's a given. Um, use these buckets to put all your dead things in. Kind of keeps everything, all the blood out of the boat or whatever, out of the truck, the Can-Am, whatever, whatever you're using there. And so those are all kind of given things. These are some specialty stuff. I forgot our spinners. We got our spinners also. These are all of our Mojo Teal back here. But you got your ammo. Every year I like to try to, some of the new ammos that's coming out. These are some... Uh, these are some of the new prototypes from Remington that's out. Here's some heavy shot. Here's some of the new, uh, the red box coming back into play by Federal. And of course, you've always got our signature loads that you get. Those things are poisonous, but they're awful expensive to use on every day, especially on teal. But uh, as we get into these, these loadout boxes really come in handy. I always keep extra pairs of uh, chokes, um, lights and stuff, because you always got that buddy that don't do that. I mean, here's, you know, throw a sling in there. These these are really handy slings to go in, put on your gun. Um, Ziploc bags, you know, I don't care what you hunt, you gotta have Ziplocs. Um, I carry a bank bag, get you a bank bag, put lots of parts in it. If you got extra, extra cocking handles, uh, you know, I'm fortunate enough I can carry extra trigger assemblies, stuff like that. Um, especially, if, you know, if you're in Canada or something to that effect, you, you can't run to a store, you gotta have your parts. And so I carry me a parts kit. Here's another loadout I carry where, uh, like I said, you got sunglasses in there, you got thermocell, you got stump tickets when you need it, ear protection, once again, extra lights, extra batteries. Um, I use this, this is off a bipod, this in case somebody gets a wad hung in their gun, everything, this helps kick it out. Um, and I always keep cleaning, cl cleaning kits, extra tools, uh, stuff like that. Carry lots of gun scrubber to clean things out. This is a gun treatment that is really good stuff. This, this I've used for absolutely 100 years, I guess. Um, helps take off surface rust and all that. And like I said, all these are kind of givens. These are some of the guns that we got. You know, we've, I've been a Benelli guy for absolutely ever and everything, and, and we've got a new partnership going here with Sport South and these guys where all the dealers can get involved in some of the guns that we're doing. And these are gonna be on the Beretta line and the Beretta A400 and A300. And so I started shooting this gun and uh, this one's still fresh. I can't wait to take it on, on some of them. I've been using the 20 gauge version on pigeons and teal. These guns shoot straight, they're great. Uh, one of the advice things I give is like when you take your gun oil, uh, you got a gun, no matter how dirty it gets, spray a little bit in action, run it. Especially on these Italian model guns, that gun's ready to go. It don't matter how dirty it is, give it a little oil, it'll work. And so um, the other thing that we get into is backpack. Rig them right makes it. This, this pack really fits me great, and that's why I got it. So I always carry extra extra death hangers, if you will. Um, I do like, because uh, you always you always got, hey, we got a limit here or there. You might be hunting with a lot of people. So you always make sure you got extras of those. Um, I carry lights. This is, a, this is something that's really handy. Uh, it's just a trauma tourniquet. Um, read up, get you some or get you one, put it in there, it'll come in handy. It may be on your dog, it may be on one of your hunting buddies. Uh, I save your life of either. Uh, something really handy, and we have been in that situation. Um, other things I, I carry, you know, like extra cord, knives, stuff like that. Those are kind of given, extra lights. Um, this is something that really comes in handy. Uh, it's, it's actually a piece of metal handmade, you know, just light her up. But a lot of times you'll be hunting a pit or something, this will let you drop, keep your stuff out of the water. You know, that comes in handy. So if you're in some kind of pit where it's steel or whatever, and it might even be a tree limb, which that's why I always carry different types of that, um, that keeps it out of the water. That keeps your gear out of the water. That, that's always handy. This is something 
that I carry a lot of fireproof matches, cigarette lighters, stuff like that in case you fall out of the boat, get wet, got to start a fire. These are cheap enough. You can go get some butane and a torch. Uh, this is more apt to start a fire than matches when you're sitting there shaking, you're freezing to death. This is really handy. And so, um, you know, like I said, I've got lots of gear here, uh, extra rope to tie your boat, whatever the case may be. You're, you're going to have those. But uh, my main tip would tell you to get you one of those torches put in there. Have your stuff to keep it out of the water. Another thing is, we talked earlier, people have their choke tubes uh, come loose. For example, if, if, if they start coming loose, this is something, this is just the old, and it works on whoever's chokes. And you can spin them and they'll click. When you get it down at the bottom, you heard that click, that's solid. And so you just try to get that click. That'll keep your choke tubes tight. Always check them. Um, anything else? My other suggestion is always keep your ammo, regardless of what, bring your ammo in at night. If you're in the real extreme cold, bring your ammo in to where it stays at room temperature. You'll never have the blue loads out of it. Your gun can stay out in the boat, in the snow, whatever the case may be, but bring your ammo in. Keep your ammo at a good temperature. And that'll help you in the future. And I hope some of this helps y'all out. And uh, if it does, great. We appreciate y'all watching.